Hey everyone and welcome back to another Tech Tale video. Today we have an absolutely insane method of training runecrafting. Uh, now you are going to need to have completed the fight quest. Uh, it is, or sorry, the fight club quest. It is the tier 9 Menaphos quest. So you're going to have to be using quite a lot of time to gather up this reputation. But it comes with an awesome training method. Now, we are going to be using the Abyss, so you are going to want a Demonic Skull on, as well as a way of getting back to uh, Edgeville. Uh, the way I'm currently using is the Amulet of Glory 3. This is uh, my main account. I actually haven't done the Wilderness requirements on this for the Achievement Diaries. So, all in all, it would be better actually to have a Wilderness Sword on here to get unlimited teleports to Edgeville, but I don't mind using some Glories right now just to test it out and show you guys how it's working. So be aware you don't need the Amulet of Glory, it can be a Wilderness Sword. But as always, same thing as anything else with the Abyss, you're going to go ahead and fill all of these pouches. I unfortunately do not have a small pouch because I got PK'd because I was trying to do this on World 2 just to test it out. I would recommend having an Abyssal Titan or whatever your best summoning familiar is. If you've already completed Fight Club, uh, I would imagine you have Abyssal Titan ready to go for you. I would recommend using that. I'm not using it for the example in this video, so I'm going to get slightly slower experience rates than you can actually expect to see, but I'm still getting insane experience drops. Now you are going to want to be careful here. I always have a defense uh, bar open. That way I can use freedom and anticipate. That way if I do get stunned, that's really the only way that you die from this low wilderness is if you get stunned. Even without food. Uh, if you're being really safe, you can bring like a rock tail or something like that. It's completely unnecessary though. Uh, whenever you do need pouches repaired, as always, the guy is in the middle there to repair your pouches. Now the one that we're going to want to be going to, as you can see from the title of this video already, is going to be the soul altar. Oop, not the water, the soul rift here. So, I already have fully ready to go pouches and all you have to do is run over here and hit craft rune and you get an insane experience drop so uh, you do have to spend a little bit of time on this uh, I'm doing it right now as you can see but it you need to spend about two minutes of AFKing to actually get that big of an experience drop and then you have to run all the way back now if you try to charge up this altar and then try to use it right now, the or the buff from the abyss will actually already be gone. So you have to charge it up and then the next time you come back to the soul altar with your new room crafting, uh, your new pure essence, then you craft the runes. Uh, you do not craft them as soon as you're done empowering this altar. So all in all what you do is you deposit into the charger you then right click on it if I can manage to right click there we go and then you charge the altar uh, you do only get a very small amount of soul runes so I'm not even worrying about picking them up uh, you do charge the altar and then you do not craft your runes you immediately teleport back to Edgeville you gather up all of the pure essence run back to the abyss and then when you come back you're going to have that abyss 350 percent insane drop of experience uh i do have a little bit extra i do have some bonus experience in it it gives me an extra 100 percent on top of the 450 percent i'm already getting so expect to get a slightly smaller drop than that but not actually too much uh, but you can see what I'm doing here. There's actually about two minutes of AFKing here too, and then about one minute of running around. So about two thirds of the time you're actually AFK at this. So it's insane experience and it's AFK. I don't I don't understand how Jagex mix missed this. If I don't know if somebody just screwed up in the office or not, but as you can see from that giant experience drop, it takes me about three minutes per uh, go around at it and I'm getting I think about 17 or 18 thousand experience every single time that is with bonus experience so only expect 14 to 15 uh, depending on obviously which summoning familiars that you have and as well as which pouches you're using I'm using a massive pouch which I would recommend everybody to use but 
the big kicker here is, as you can see from the description, 300,000 runecrafting experience per hour just from doing this. That is insane. The fastest that I've seen online is 200 to 220,000. That was doing blood s or blood runes through this, which you have to risk a lot more because you're going through the wilderness three times for every one time that you're going through the wilderness for the soul rift. So this is absolutely insane experience. Again, another 18,000 drop right there. That was three minutes later. Every three minutes, I'm getting the 18,000. Uh, if you do want to pick up the soul runes, you can just deposit first and then craft them. It's not a big deal. I'm just not worrying about it. So, why is this happening? Uh, so, basically, the soul altar is different from any other altar that you would use. You actually deposit all those pure essences into this charger, and then you have to charge the altar. But every single four pure essence that you're using, you are charging the altar once. And then I think it's about 75% or 80% of the time you get that soul rune back. But you get the experience for all the soul runes. So I, I'm not sure if there was an oversight there that you weren't supposed to be getting the experience for the soul runes you don't actually craft. Or if they just didn't take into consideration that you can do it through the abyss or what. Or if they're just willing to give an uh, insane experience rate of 300,000 per hour behind uh, about a 2 hour or 25 hour long uh, reputation grind. Which I didn't actually mind that much. It only took me about a week to get to that. And I was only playing about probably 3 to 4 hours a day. Uh, during the weekend, I did obviously play a lot more just because that's the way it is. Uh, I get a lot more time during the weekends. But this is a basically Abyss runecrafting plus 2 minutes of AFK plus 100,000 experience per hour on top of it. Just wow. Uh, somebody messed up here. I'm not really sure. Uh, hopefully you guys all see this and you enjoy it. If you do, go ahead and leave a like down below. I would love it if you guys subscribed so I can show you all the new content that I have. And as always, hopefully you guys are all now my friends and you come on back. Have a good one.